Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at what exactly happens at the surface when we have an ambient air situation. And we're going to compare a vertical surface to a horizontal surface. Now let's assume that the surfaces are hot and that the air around it is cooler. The air is not moving, it's, it's ambient, it's stationary, and of course you have a lot of molecular motion and those molecules in the air will bump into the hot surface. When they do that, what happens? They will pick up heat. Now, of course, they don't actually pick up heat. The molecules on the surface will be vibrating more violently because the surface is hot, and when those air molecules come in contact with the more violently moving and vibrating molecules on the surface, they pick up what we call kinetic energy will make them move faster. As they move faster, they will cause the pressure inside the air along the surface to increase. That causes the air to expand, and when the air expands, it causes convection currents away from the hot surface. Now notice that there was a different situation here compared to here. Here the hot air or the, the hair that is heated by making contact with the hot surface will expand and that expansion causes convection current away which allows cooler air molecules to move in and pick up more heat. With a surface like this, again the air, the air will flow slowly upward but that's different than with the air moving away from the surface like it does on a horizontal surface. As a result, it turns out that the transfer coefficient for a vertical surface is smaller than the transfer coefficient for a horizontal surface. For a horizontal surface, it's about 7% higher than it is for a vertical surface. And again, that 7% is an approximate value depending upon the situation, the surface conditions, whether or not it's smooth or coarse and so forth, all kinds of other conditions. But by and large, in general, there's an increase in the transfer coefficient when the surface is flat versus when the surface is vertical. Again, this is with ambient air, not with forced flow. But again, it's an interesting concept to see how the molecular motion and the convection currents do make a difference in how heat is transferred from a surface into the air. And that is how it's done.